In our culture, we get so busy. Every moment is jam-packed with activities. Increasingly, we neglect self-care to compensate. Tune in. Hello, and welcome to Momo 634, the daily podcast chock full of faith-filled inspiration and motivation. Momo 634, motivational moments just for today. Like most of you, I wear a lot of hats. So many that I tend to push self-care to the bottom of the list. However, that's one of the quickest paths to burnout. As you were always told at the beginning of a flight, if you are a caregiver, put your oxygen mask on first. Yet we fail to enact this principle once the plane touches down. Part of the problem stems from cultural biases, such as thinking that self-care is selfish, indulgent, or self-absorbed. Another reason is, because we relegate it to last place, we often time out at the end of the day without attending to our own needs. So what do we do? Make a date with yourself. If you've listened for very long, you know I'm big on tasks and calendaring. Put your self-care items on your to-do list or calendar. Be diligent. Commit to these dates and self-care routines. Investing in yourself, mind, body, and spirit is good for you. Protect those boundaries. If something should come up where we're tempted to cancel those dates with ourselves, say no. You don't have to offer an excuse or explanation. You have a commitment on your calendar. Going back to our airplane scenario, there's a reason you put your oxygen mask on first. You can't help others or do the things that are needed if you don't care for yourself first. Parents, caregivers, employees, no matter what your role, if you're tired, cranky, and depleted, you won't get much accomplished and may even get behind, creating a never-ending cycle. You may think you can't afford the time to invest in yourself, but it's proactive. It's better to do now and be refreshed than when you are burned out or digging yourself out of a hole because you are so far behind. Further, The stress due to not making yourself a priority can have long-term health effects. Stress, among other things, can lead to high blood pressure, heart problems, and the like. Additionally, prioritizing yourself models to your children and those around you that taking care of oneself is important and helps break down some of the societal prejudices around self-care that we discussed at the top of this episode. In his creation work, God built in a day of rest. Not that he needed it, but as a model for us, because we do. Further, Jesus modeled spiritual self-care by prioritizing his solitary prayer time. Our meme for today says, Prioritizing self-care is like putting the oxygen mask on first in an airplane. Do it for yourself and others. Chime in. What do you do for self-care? Thanks for listening to Momo 634, motivational moments just for today. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, give it a like or review, Tell a friend and follow along on social media or your favorite podcast platform. To have episodes mailed to you, subscribe at momo634.substack.com. To receive bonus episodes and support this podcast, become a premium Substack subscriber.